Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about self join in Oracle. So, first of all, let's try to understand what is self join, then we will understand through an example as well. Yeah, so a self join is used to match and retrieve rows that have matching values in different columns of the same table. Right, that means self join we perform in the same table. Uh, just to make this demo, I'm going to use this EMP table. In EMP table, you can see uh, we have an employee number and corresponding a manager number as well. If you look into the employee whose uh, employee number is 7369, whose manager's number is 7902, right? If you look at the 7902 in employee number, you'll get 7902 is here. So in same table, we have uh, employee details and his manager detail as well. So here a Smith manager is nothing but the Ford whose designation is analyst, right? So let's say I would like to uh, write a query uh, to list the employee number, name, job of each employee along with the number, name and job of the employee's manager. How we can write those kind of query. So for that, of course, we need to perform a self join, right? So here I'm going to write a query like I'm going to select uh, I'm going to write a select and then I just I'm going to give you the from clause here I will write EMP and I'm going to as I'm going to perform join on the same table so I'm going to write a, a EMP table twice with uh, two different alias right so first alias I will take worker and second alias on the same table I would say manager right now I have two alias I can make use of these two alias to select data from employee table. So here I would say worker dot EMP number. First employee number I would like to select. Then worker dot E name. Nothing but the employee name. Then work, worker dot, dot job I'm going to select. Yeah. And worker dot MGR means manager's ID. Worker manager's ID. Apart from that, I would like to say, uh, select manager's name and job. For that, I will make use of this alias. So managers dot e name, right? So we will have to write manager dot e name. Then manager dot job. Yeah. Now whatever attribute we wanted to select, we have already selected. Now in where clause, you have to put some some condition, right? So I would say where. Here worker dot mgr, right? Uh, worker dot mgr, worker dot mgr equals to I would write manager dot emp number. Let me format this query so that this will uh, be in understandable format, right? Now, if I run this query, then I would be able to find the result. So just I'm going to run the result. So here you can see uh, now we have a uh, employee number, employee name, employee job, and this employee manager manager side is 7566, whose manager name is Jones and whose designation manager's designation is manager. Right? Similarly, employee whose ID is 7788, whose name is Scott, whose, anal whose job is analyst. Right? And Scott's manager's ID is 7566, whose name is Jones and his designation is manager. Right? So this is the basically way to write a self-join. Right? I hope you understood guys. Self-join always we write on the same table, single table. And uh, we make use of the table alias name because here employee number, employee name we are selecting twice. So definitely you have to make the alias. That's the key point you will have to keep in mind so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial